Stevie, first of all, could you just tell us um, your initial reaction to, to the news that Alan will be leaving the club? Yeah, from a you know professional point of view, you're disappointed to see him make that decision. Totally understand where he is and where he's coming from. Um, but yeah, disappointed because I know how much he puts into this. I know how much he, the club means to him. You know, he's very similar to myself in terms of you know he doesn't clock out at five o'clock and go home, and then that's a, that's him for the next day. Um, he's he's fully invested. He spends every minute of the day, you know, about how he can do. His, better for this club and his commitment to it and the, any success we've had over his period of time is, you know, he's been a big, big part of that. You're talking about his commitment to the club there, you feel that he will be a big loss to the club then? Yeah, of course, he's, he's you know, he's he's here every day, he's here every minute, every day, he's, he's committed, he's skillful at his job, he's good at his job, he's he's passionate, it means the club means a lot to him. It's. He's going to be difficult to replace for sure. He's a big part. He's very, you know, if, if you think about Mother, Alan Burrows is one of the, the first names that comes to mind. So yeah, of course it's, you know, it's unfortunate f um, for us. His time at the club's coming to an end, but hopefully that's not that's not an immediate decision. Oh, he was involved in pushing a deal over the line as well yesterday. Good to get Ollie Cranshaw. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. I spoke to Ollie. Um, you know, he's a good player, he's a good pro, um, good boy. He's keen to be here. He's keen to be here, which means a lot to me. It's, you know, we've, we've spoke to a number of players and um, for whatever reason it hasn't been quite right, but, you know, he was so keen to get here and be involved and he'll be a great addition for us. He seems to be, up, you know, I've played a lot of games already this season as well, which is probably half the battle in January when you're signing players that you, you get them, you wouldn't have to have Yeah, January's tough, it is. It's, it's difficult to get that balance right with people with a fit, with, you know, you're maybe signing a player that hasn't been playing as much or is recovering from injury or whatever the circumstances. I think that's why January's is very tough or they're weighing up their options and that's diff that's why it's difficult to get stuff done early. So, yeah, for that to kind of fall in place and then the, the player pushed it through himself, which speaks volumes he trained with yesterday and he's, he's come in, he'll fit into the group well. Just uh, on Alan leaving, that's not going to affect any January transfer business, is it? That's all. Hey, no, hopefully it means we can do a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, Dan Zaki, what can you tell us? That is, is it likely to go through? Um, listen, well, if you if you were in the office, you see that the amount of players that we've looked at, we've scouted the list. The list's long. It's a long list. It's it's dwindling down. We've got a lot of targets that we really were really really keen to to progress, but. In terms of actual individuals and names, it's it's not right to, to speak about someone that's not involved with our club just now. Um, we're, we're hoping to do more business in January. I think it's it's clear that we need to do that and m make sure that what we do fits what we're doing as best possible. And, and hopefully that that will happen between now and, and the end of Jan. Take the player out of it then, Steve. Obviously Celtic's gone down the far east market. See Hearts this week has gone down the far east market. Is this something you've had your eyes open to for a while? Well, like I said, we've... we've we're, we're scouting everywhere, we're recruiting and we're looking at options, it's it's difficult in January, everyone that we've that we'll highlight and, and people that we, we will pull the trigger on and, and commit to fully is players that we think will make us better, you know, good characters that bring good energy, um, good players obviously first and foremost and fit the profile of what, of what we need, of course that's not always a, an ideal world in, in terms of transfers, there's always a slight gamble towards it, um, every transfer is the same. Um, but yeah, we need to be fully committed and, and confident that that the players that come in bring all of those points that I was that I was mentioning there. Do you think you'll do anything else before the uh, game of the weekend? Yeah, I think um, before the weekend, not sure, not sure. That, um, it's something we're we're continuing doing. We were in early again this morning, late last night, trying to push through uh, whatever we can. And, and again, it won't be just getting numbers in the building. Of course, we we need that, but we also need to make sure it's the right person, the right type. Obviously, players coming in at quite a challenging period. It's, is it something you do differently this week, Steve, to what's last week? You just keep persevering with what your process is. Yeah, it's it's the the result last week was a disappointing one. It was you know it was something that we we prepared for well. We were we were well organised for the game. We were well well prepped for it. Um, the way it played out was disappointing. Again, I th I felt like within the game, um, we done well enough. But obviously, you know, I don't need to explain to anyone. Um, the goals we conceded within the game, you know, give us a, a mountain to climb. So, yeah, it's something we, we continually work on. We we work on it every day and in ways to improve. And hopefully, we see that we see that tomorrow. It's obviously you you brought in a forward player uh, in Ollie yesterday, but has it been defensively that has been 
where you've been letting yourselves down over the last few weeks, given the goals that have been getting conceded because you have been creating chances, you have been scoring goals at the other end. Yeah, we're, we're confident of that. We're confident within pretty much every game this season. We've, we're creating, we're scoring, we're, we're looking a threat. But yeah, and as much as I'm highlighting the options that we've got at the top end of the pitch, and regardless of system and formation and style or whatever you want to say, the goals we concede at the weekend are fundamental errors. They're not they're not through any kind of style of play that we're trying to implement that's costing us. It's 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 doing the basics well pretty much and then and then building for that. So we need to give ourselves that platform to then go and, you know, have a be a attacking threat without having to be desperate and try to chase the game and give ourselves a, the best chance going forward. We spoke to Max earlier on. How impressed were you with him last week? And obviously you brought him back from COVID. Is he somebody that the fans should be seeing more of over the last, over the next four or five months? Yeah, I think so. I've known Max a long, long time. Obviously he's come through the academy. I've, you know, been a big part of his progression over the last number of years. Um, I think the, the first six months of this season has served and benefited us the way we wanted it to. He's went away and he's played well and he's really progressed like we wanted. It's you know, it's I think the loan market can be used to that and we've used that to good effect. He's come back in again, similar to what I was saying earlier, brings good energy. He's a good player, he's a good boy, I know him well. And he's someone that I think in the next in the next few years will be a will be a massive player for Mother. On the other side, Matt Penny's loan will be coming up soon. Is there any update on whether he'll be staying or not? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully after the game we'll be able to, you know, confirm that one way or another. Um, it'll, it'll probably be after the game we'll release something about that. Steve, how tested period are you feeling it's about yourself? Yeah, it's it's been difficult. I mean, I know the the smile isn't on my face as much as as much as it usually would be in a, in normal times, but. You know, it's because I want to do well, it's because I want to win and obviously, especially last week, that didn't happen. Um, I think when I took the job, when we came into the job, it was um, under understood it was a difficult task to, to take over and come into, but I'm confident in myself and, and the staff here are doing well and being as, as good as we can possibly be and give the, the, the club and the fans and the staff in here a team that they're proud of and, and that's not changed, that has absolutely not changed. I've got absolute confidence in myself, I understand we need to be doing better, but Again, we're confident in the work we do every day, and, and as, as I said, that that mindset from myself hasn't changed, and it won't change. And you back yourself to get through this period, of course. Are you, is that a different sort of build up to this game because people talk about the, the table position and it's the team quite near the end of the table? Do you have to kind of take that away from the build up and, and concentrate on the football rather than the? Of yeah, well, it's it's one game at a time. It genuinely is. Just now, it's one game at a time. It's a big game for us. It's a game we want to do well in. Ross County will be the exact same. We want to do well, and the, the table is still really congested. It's you know, if we win, we move up. We move up a spot. That's that's the goal, and then we'll take next week when it comes. That's that's where we're at. That's where our energy is at, and that's where our mindset is. Is everything we've got, including the the new players and whatever we do in the game, is how we win this game of football, and then. Next week will take care of itself, but we're at, we're in a position in the league where it is still congested, and we need to we need to you know bridge that gap between us and the, and the teams above us. That's that's the goal. You talk about that congestion in the league. Is this one that you would agree is a, a six point? It could be a huge game come the end of the season, come the standings at the end of the season. It's a big game. It is. It's 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 a chance for us to put distance between us and and them. But again, they'll be looking at the opposite. But we're focused on what we're doing. We know we know where we stand. We know what a win would do for us. So. Like like every other game, it's a game we're going into to win. Is all going to be available at the weekend? It will be, yeah. Okay. Seems like a lot of Stockport fans are quite surprised by the fact he's been allowed to go on loan. Seem to rate him. Do you think that speaks volumes about how good a player he is? Well, I don't know about that, but what I do know is what I've seen and speak to him, and and he'll be a good player for us. I mean, I'm confident in that I think he's a, a player that the fans will be will be happy with, and I think he'll enjoy watching him play. And I'm not going to put too much pressure on him, but. In terms of his profile, it's something that we've lacked, especially with, with Joe being injured for so long. Um, it's something we've lacked within the within the group. Speaking to him, yeah, we were, we were delighted to to to, um, to find out he was available. Spoke to him straight away. You know, he was super keen. He jumped in the car and he came up. I mean, that that speaks volumes to him about what he thinks of me and this club and how he wants to play football. And hopefully, between now and the summer, he's a he's a success for us. You mentioned Joe. Are there any entry updates for tomorrow? Um, we've, yeah, there's a couple that we're, we're still waiting on, we're making a decision on just now, there's a couple we carrying stuff, but in terms of the long term ones, there's, there's no change with that.